Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So my husband and I are getting ready to do a little staycation. So I figured I would try to vlog. So no promises, I'm gonna try, but I'm also gonna be living in the moment. So I will try to include as much as I feel comfortable, but y'all know how it is. So anyway, I figured we're getting ready to leave the house now, waiting on the babysitter to get here. I figured I might as well go ahead and show y'all my outfit. I am gonna try to show you all of my outfits on this trip. And I mean, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm no like fashionista. <laughs> But I do like to put well, I do like to look well put together and not seem like I put a lot of effort in. So anyway, let me turn y'all around. Oh, I just realized I have one twist here that I need to take out. I was, this part of my hair never really, like it always gets stretched out really easily when I sleep on my twist out. So ignore that, okay? When y'all see me later, that'll be taken out. So let me turn y'all around and show y'all my outfit. All right, so here is my look for today. We are just gonna be leaving our house and we're gonna go straight to lunch before we check into our hotel. So I'm just wearing this pink bodysuit. Um, this is from Express. I think it's part of their body contour collection. I'm pretty sure they don't have this color anymore, but for anything in this video, I will try to link if it's still available, but y'all know, like a lot of my clothes are old. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm wearing this pink bodysuit and then my jeans. I love and they are actually very inexpensive so I will definitely link these if they're still available but I just really like the hem there I know that looks like underwear down there but that's actually a resistance band <laughs> and Woody's hat from Toy Story anyway <laughs> um what was I saying oh I like the hem on these they're like um asymmetrical and they're also fringed. I really like them. And then my shoes are um, from Nine West. Last time I looked, they were not available. So I doubt that I'll be able to link them, but if I find them, I'll let you guys know. My belt I'm wearing is my Gucci belt I've had forever. And then I'm wearing this Louis Vuitton bag. This is the, what's it called? A Boyd Chapeau Souple. And this is in the giant monogram. I love this bag. I don't wear it very often um, because I kind of feel like it's not necessarily a collector's piece, but it's something that I want to have forever. And so I just don't wear it that often, <laughs> but I actually really, really love it. And yeah, that's my look. Um, jewelry, I'll turn y'all around real quick. Well, actually I'll show y'all my bracelets. So I'm just wearing this Tory Burch bracelet and this other like cuff, which I don't even know where it came from. And then wedding ring, I have this ring here. If y'all ask me about this, I just wanna let y'all know, I'm probably not gonna tell you about it because it was sent to me and I'm not sure that I recommend this company. So yeah, got my Apple Watch and then I'm wearing these hoop earrings that I wear like all the time. So yeah, that and this necklace, which is also discontinued as well. I'll turn y'all around so you can see it better, but I know I can't link to this. So there's the necklace and the earrings. All right, so we're gonna um, go ahead and finish getting our stuff together and I'll check in with y'all later. I don't know where to begin. Could be the curves on your body, but then could be your hair, maybe your skin. Yeah, uh -huh. baby girl, I'm trying to get with you. Come, let me see what we get into. It don't even gotta be physical, as long as that pretty face visible. Yeah. Uh -huh. 7 p.m. is a day. It's a day. Me, got your poker face yeah. on. Take you for a ride. We listen to music. I'm touching your thighs. I'm feeling your style. You different. You giving the kid butterflies. We made it in time. You better than bad. Find the wine. 
So I might unpack just a little bit because I have this little small suitcase and then I also have my MCM Weekend bag, which I love. I've had this for a few years and I love it. Um, but all my stuff wouldn't fit in there zipped up. So I just decided to bring that and this. And we're only here until tomorrow. So yeah. Anyway. Are y'all those type of people that unpack when you get to the hotel room or do you leave all your stuff in the suitcase? We unpack. Vanilla. Thank you. Room charge, cash or credit? Room charge. I'll bring it right over for you. Get what you see when you're patient, even now I'm tired of waiting. Come let me see what you're working with. And I'ma show you why I'm your favorite. Yeah. But when I get you on the road, when I get you, baby, on my way home. All I need, baby, ain't a thing you'll find better than me. That's just an option. I mean, when I get you on When I'ma see you again, look so good, making wanna sin. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hit it in back of the bench. Nobody see us, cause we got the tens. Let you go home, see you again. Try make you stay, I'm on the fence. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nobody has to know. getting ready to I'm getting ready to take a shower and get dressed for tonight but I figured while I was waiting on my husband to take his shower I would show y'all what fragrance I bought with me let's see if I can do this uh, all right I had to stitch y'all down but got all my toiletries in there and the only fragrance I bought with me is this one. This is Zerjoff Achincha Overdose. And I purposely only bought one fragrance because I really wanted to make a scent memory. And I mean, we're just on a two day, <laughs> one night trip. So I was like, you know what? This fragrance would be good for daytime and nighttime. And I haven't really, like I just got this not too long ago. So I felt like this is a good time for me to bond with it. <laughs> so yeah, this is my fragrance for this entire weekend. Um, these are all my toiletries. Y'all want to see them? They're kind of just thrown in here, but I put all my toiletries in this bag. This is the Nice BB from Louis Vuitton. But this time I didn't include my makeup in here. Sometimes I do just depending on what I'm, you know, doing or how much makeup I'm bringing. But this time I just didn't. So, um, there's no makeup in here. My makeup is in another bag that I'll show y'all in a second. But yeah, this is just all my, like, um stuff i guess we can do a quick little what's in my bag got my fragrance deodorants toothpaste toothbrush soap i almost always bring a bar soap if i'm going somewhere out of town just because it's easier and then i'll just leave it here if i don't use it up Got my eye cream. This is from Dior Prestige. Got my makeup remover, face wash, total cleanser from Fenty Skin. This is the little miniature travel size. And then I also have the Hydra Visor in the miniature travel size. And I have my Fenty body butter. This is in the travel size as well. And then I have my pick. A hair tie that got hair on it <laughs> uh, my fat water this is also from Fenty Skin this is also the travel size I have my lip mask from NARS this is the orgasm lip mask I brought this which is the moisture surge hydrating lotion this will be my nighttime moisturizer this is my cellar water that I bring with me everywhere I go uh, but this is the one by Garnier. And then these are new products. This is from Venus. It's the daily soothing serum for like post-shave. 
and it, these products this one and this one are kind of meant for like your pubic and private hair but i get really itchy legs when i shave so i bought this to use on my legs after shaving and so far it's working i haven't had any itching yet and usually i get the itching like the day after i shave um and i shaved last night so so far so good and then this is the oil which i think is supposed to be like a dupe for the fur oil which is really popular and quite expensive <laughs> but it's like a hair and skin softening oil for your lady parts <laughs> so i'm trying this out and then this is just like a deodorant remover pad and then i have my cotton pads and q-tips down there as well and that's it so this whole little case pretty much just stays in the bathroom I'm just throwing everything back in here child it's not organized at all um this usually will stay in the bathroom and then i have my makeup the one that i'll show y'all in a second i don't know if i'm going to show you everything in there we'll see i don't want to just be wasting all time but i i'm wasting time while i'm waiting on my husband to finish showering so there's that and i put my makeup in this one this is the truce 18 this is an old vintage louis vuitton i don't know if it's technically vintage but um this is an old piece no longer made but i have two of them i have this one i think it's the 18 i think and then i have the largest one too which i think it's like the 23 or the 26 or something like that but when i gotta put y'all down i can't open it with one hand So I got all my makeup in there and I'm quite sure I overpacked, but sometimes I do that. So I'm not going to pull out my makeup, I don't think. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this vlog goes. Maybe when I get back home and I unpack it, I'll share it with y'all. But I just don't really feel like going through it now. It's kind of just thrown in there. And when I pack my makeup, the way I do it is I actually do my makeup and then put it in the bag. That way I don't miss anything. So say like this morning when I when I did my makeup like I would do my foundation and then I'll pick a foundation brush and a foundation put it in my bag even if it's not the same one I'm using but I do that that to make sure that I don't forget anything I kind of do the same thing in my toiletries as well so yeah just thought I would share that anyway I'll see y'all in a bit all right y'all so this is my outfit for tonight it's kind of dark in the room but um I'm basically just wearing all black <laughs> so I have on this black v-neck bodysuit again from express and then these black jeans wearing my black gucci belt again old and then these shoes are steve madden the bag i'm carrying tonight is this gucci wallet on chain which i've had for quite a while and yeah this is just an all black look tonight wearing the same jewelry i'll turn y'all around real quick so you can see my makeup all right i came to the window so y'all could actually see my makeup but um yeah i'm wearing this um what's this called love before breakfast lipstick by gucci and then yeah my face looks basically the same i still got this piece that just won't curl right but oh well um so yeah this is the look i put on some eyeshadow for once so yeah this is what we're looking like getting ready to go to a rooftop bar and then head to dinner so i'll see y'all later so y'all remember how i told y'all what i do with my fragrance for our little trip i did the same thing for my husband this time there's no cap on it? It's in the bag. Oh, okay. Um, so I bought him this. Parfums de Marley Hall Taint. Smells really good. I smelled this in Neiman Marcus one day. And so it's been on my little wish list for him. Um, people say it's similar to Ooh for Greatness by Initio. And I can see that. But this one is definitely like more aromatic, lighter, uh, more fresh than Ooh for Greatness. And tops in the bag somewhere. But yeah, so this is his fragrance for this weekend. Oh, yeah. I can't even explain it. Maybe 
That's the way you look in my eyes How I feel is beyond words can't describe How you ignite this fire so deep inside Got me hot like the summer it's Sunday morning and today I am wearing this long dress. We don't rush because we gotta get to our brunch reservations, but I wanted to show y'all my outfit anyway. So I'm just wearing this long dress. I'm wearing these Tory Burch Millers that I've had forever and all the same jewelry. <laughs> I'll turn y'all around real quick so you can see my face. All right, so here's the makeup. I wish I could show y'all my outfit from this angle because I know the lighting is so much better on this side, but what can you do? It's a hotel room, but yeah, this is the makeup. Simple, easy. Yeah, I'll see y'all later. Flowers to put in your drink. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really drink, drink. drink. <laughs> like none of my permanent for him. It's actually not that busy in here like I thought. vacation we're back home kids are here today is 4th of July so we're off um, so we're just gonna have like a pool day today the kids and I just went on a walk now they're eating a snack before we go um, get ready for the pool we already or my husband already cleaned it out so yeah that's what we're doing today hopefully today will be relaxing uh, we had a really nice little staycation I'm not even sure what all I showed y'all because I was just in the moment <laughs> So whatever clip she saw, hopefully that was enough. <laughs> um, I probably didn't talk to y'all much, but we did a lot of eating and drinking on this little staycation, which was nice. Um, yeah, we had a really good time. Got a chance to relax and like reconnect. So that was nice. So anyway, I'll probably share some of today with y'all. Oh, the candles that we made yesterday. So that was really fun. And because they are normally, like if you do it like on a regular weekday or whatever, you could pick them up in about, I think, three hours or something or four hours, two hours. I don't know. But um, 
because our appointment was like near the end of their closing, then then you pick them up the next day. However, the next day was 4th of July. So we'll be picking them up on Tuesday, tomorrow. So I'm going to try to continue this vlog until then, just so I can show y'all our finished products. But that was a really, really fun experience. I would highly recommend. It was called Candle Pour, I believe, and it's in Hyde Park Village if you live in the Tampa Bay area. And they actually had a private room, which I should have showed y'all, but they had like a private room where you can set up like parties and all. We met the owner. Well, one of the owners, like it's a husband and wife co-own. Um, so we met the husband and um, he was very, very nice. So I definitely will be going back. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll probably share some of uh, today I with you know. all and I'll definitely show y'all my candle after I pick that up. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. So I decided to come back on because I got my candles. I have not opened them yet, but here they are. Um, so I also picked up this accessory set because when you book, you um, pay, I think, like a $12 reservation fee, and then you can use that credit towards something in their store. Um, so that's what we used our credit towards this. And this is just a set with a wig trimmer, a snuffer, and then it also has a black tray down there in the bottom, which I wanted another wig trimmer. I didn't know that I necessarily needed a snuffer, but since I could get it like and not have to really pay much for it. I figured that would be a good choice for me as opposed to just buying a snuffer on my own. So yeah, that was cool. And then we got our candles. So this one is my husband's and this is what his looks like. He got a one wick candle. It has like a box of matches there. And then he named his distinguished gentleman. <laughs> And the notes that are in his are Baltic Amber, Cedar, Spice Clove, Bourbon, and Fireside. So those were like the oils that ended up going into his candle. It smells really good. It's like sweet and spicy and you can definitely smell like the cedar and tobacco as well. Kind of slightly, it also smells kind of slightly boozy, but not a lot. It smells really good. So I think we will probably use this one in our bedroom or bathroom. I think it's what he was saying he wanted to put it in, but hopefully y'all can see the label, what it looks like. So that's his. And then for mine, I got a three wig um, because we figured we would put it like in the living room area. Oh, so it's big. So this is it. It's a really big one. And I ended up getting the white. You can choose different vessel colors based on like what size you get. They also gave me a box of matches with mine. Um, but mine is called, let's see if I can show y'all. <laughs> so we got to pick your names, of course. So mine is called Staycation Vibes because we did it when we were on our little staycation. And the oils that are in mine are champagne, Cuban tobacco, Meyer lemon, and key lime. And I really picked those. Well, they smell good together, but also I was trying to go for something that was different than what I already have as far as candles go. I was thinking about going the like tobacco, sweet tobacco type route because y'all know I love those type of scents like in fragrance and in candles. But I was like, no, I kind of want to just do something that's quite different, like nothing I ever smelled. So that's why, that's how I ended up coming up with these things. But it smells really good. I'm excited to see how it smells when it burns because like when you're mixing it in, um, mixing the oils into the hot wax or whatever you can I feel like that's probably what it's gonna smell like when it burns because it actually smelled warm the, the scent was definitely more there than on the dry candle but it smells really good and to me it's kind of like bright and citrusy but at the same time from that tobacco it gives it a little bit of depth and then the champagne note I felt like just gave it a little bit of something extra so yeah <laughs> Your girl over here being a mixologist this was really fun to do though so i can't wait to burn them i'll have to let y'all know i'm not gonna burn them right now or anything but i'll i might burn them tonight just depending on how it goes but yeah unfortunately the three wicks do not come with a lid but they just come with like this little cover which will probably end up in the trash for me but yeah super excited to try those out so i definitely had to share those with you all i'm not 100 percent if i'm ending the vlog here but if i do end it here then thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next one if not then y'all will see whatever it's coming up later today <laughs>
back. I just lit my little new candle and I'm getting ready to put away some of my stuff from my little staycation. And I was getting ready to put away my makeup so I figured I might as well share what was in my makeup bag. <laughs> I didn't feel like sharing it earlier but now that I'm putting it away I figure I might as well share and kind of let you guys know what I ended up using or what because I definitely overpacked on makeup. So <clears throat> all my makeup and my brushes are in here. And we're not gonna go in any particular order. We're just gonna pull out of the bag. So first thing I have in here is this Tom Ford eyeshadow. This is the Leopard Sun. Very pretty. I took this with me, but I ended up not using this eyeshadow. I only wore eyeshadow one time, um, so I didn't use this. <laughs> The other eyeshadow palette that I took with me that I take with me a lot actually if I travel. This is from Huda Beauty and this is the Brown Obsessions, Warm Brown Obsessions. I'm pretty sure they still sell these little palettes and they're only like, they're less than $30. I think they're like $25, $24. But I think that's a really good deal for these because the shadows are quite good. This one is my favorite and I like to take this with me when I go out of town because it's small. I can do a full look out of this or I can use it with some other products to get the look that I'm going for. So I did use this and in addition to this, <clears throat> on the night that I wore eyeshadow, I used this as well. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Sequins Topaz Flash and this is discontinued, but this is like one of those like, it's kind of like a cream eyeshadow, but not. It's like a creamy powder. Uh, very similar to, Giorgio Armani used to have something like this. I'm not sure if they still do. Chanel has something like this as well. But um, yeah, I've had this for a long time and it was in a box for a long time without me ever using it. So I just started using it this year, but I'm pretty sure I had it for like over a year. <laughs> but I do really like these. Next up is the bronzer that I took with me. This is the Fenty Beauty Beijing Gyal bronzer. And I was actually looking on Sephora's website because I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am almost hitting pan, like I can see the rim. I use this all the time, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe my tan has gotten darker this summer than typical because I'm kind of feeling like this is not showing up as much as it used to. So I'm thinking I may get this in a darker shade because I do really enjoy this, or I may get another bronzer just until I lose my tan. But I do love this shade. What I love about it so much is that it is quite warm but it doesn't look like so orange, but it is a quite warm bronzer. And I feel like that's kind of hard to find these days. So yeah. Next up is a lipstick. This is from Patrick Ta and this is Oshi oh Single. It's a beautiful uh, nude shade. And I did not use this either. <laughs> <clears throat> Mascara is Lancome Lash Idol. I use this, my favorite mascara. <clears throat> the foundation product that I use the entire weekend is this one from Fenty. This is the Ease Drops and it's actually a skin tint. So it's like a tinted moisturizer. I do use this with my hands. As you can tell, my top is dirty. <laughs> but um, yeah, I took this with me because I knew it would work. Like it wouldn't be too heavy. I knew we were gonna be doing stuff outside and walking around and I just didn't wanna feel like I was too caked up with makeup. Now I will say this is good for oily skin, but it's still in that tinted moisturizer family. So if your skin is super oily, don't think you're gonna be able to wear this all day without blotting because that's not the case. But I do love the glow that I get from this. And I feel like that when I get so shiny, like really shiny, it still looks good. I just need to blot. So I will blot over this like with paper towels. I may use a brush like this and just dot it on the places where I'm shiny without adding any product to it and that helps to take away the shine. But then my makeup will still look good. So I highly recommend the Ease Drops if you're looking to try this type of product. And then this is the setting powder I took with me which is a miniature of the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and this one is in Translucent Honey, so it's a little bit more golden tone than the normal Translucent. Other lipstick I took with me is from Gucci. This is Love Before Breakfast, and I wore this. I showed that to y'all. I took this primer with me from Milk Makeup, but I actually did not use it, surprisingly. I just didn't feel like doing the whole primer thing this weekend. <laughs> Uh, for my blush, I took NARS Savage, which is this beautiful like bronzy color. Obviously use that. This is the only blush I brought with me. 
concealer i bought this one from rare beauty and i use this i have mine in the shade 380w and i actually just mentioned this in a favorites video so check that out if you haven't and then the eye primer i took with me is this one from milani and i use this as well and i have a lip gloss in here this is from sephora collection this is it's in the shade 02, which I think on the web, Sephora website is called XXL Nude. Um, but I did use this. I used another gloss as well, but it's actually in my handbag and I'm not going to get it. But it's from the Sephora brand and it's called Hashtag Blessed. It's part of their glossed line. I will link it for you guys, but I've shown that so many times anyway. But yeah, so I use that. And then everything else, I think it's brushes. Yeah. So these are the brushes that I used for everything. And oh, and my eyebrow pencil, which I used. And I need to buy another one today. Um, but yeah, these are the brushes that I took with me. I decided not to do the beauty blender this time around and I just went for brushes. So for my found, I guess we'll go through brushes cause I don't really ever talk about brushes, but for my foundation, I use my fingers. But for concealer, I use the Artiste brush to blend it out. This is, the oval six i think yes oval six brush to set my concealer i use this kat von d or a kvd beauty brush i don't know the name of it but i love this brush for setting concealer my blush i use the nars Yachio blush brush i forgot i don't know if i said that right but i tried okay <laughs> um so this is like my go-to blush brush Go-to bronzer brush is from Marc Jacobs. They no longer make this brush, but I do have one from Sephora collection that is quite similar that I will link, if I remember, down below. <laughs> but this is my favorite bronzer brush. Uh, my highlighter brush, I'm not even sure why I took this with me because I didn't even bring a highlighter with me, but this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my go-to highlighter brush that Honestly, I don't wash enough because this is like the only highlighter brush I ever like to use. So I don't want it to be out of commission. <laughs> so usually I do like one of the quick washes on it, like the Cinema Secret spray it and then clean it off that way. But I hardly ever like wash this brush fully, which I know is gross. Some of y'all are saying, Ugh, but I'm just being for real. I do wash it sometimes, but I don't wash as much as I should. And then the two eyeshadow brushes I took with me are these two. Um, this flat one is from Japanesque and it's just a flat like shader brush. And it's one of the dual sided ones. So half side is synthetic, the other side is natural fibers. And then I have this um, like blending brush that is tapered. I think this is from Sedona. No, it's from Juvia's Place. I don't see a number or anything on here. So I'm not even sure if they still make this, but I use this quite often. So that was it for my makeup bag. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and I think I'm actually really going to end the vlog here because I don't foresee myself doing anything more of interest. And I do wanna get this posted for you guys by tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so I can edit it and have it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know I didn't show you my entire staycation, but I showed what I could. I hope you guys enjoyed that portion of it anyway. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.